afraid. Oh goodness gracious, he doesn't like heights. He doesn't like heights. Let's go. Let's go. So the rope can fall back down. Now wrap it again. Wrap it again. Step on it. Step on it. There you go. Too easy. Too easy. Take your time. Get your arms together. Now pull up. You got Let's it. Let's go. Come on. Almost there. You get up that rope. Let's go. Okay, no Let's go, time. Big Sar. Under the red, under the red, over the white. Oh, oh freak. You got it, though. You're making it look easy. You're making it look let's easy. Let's go. Get up, my obstacle. You're done. Get up. Come on. Let's go, warrior. Get over. Get over. This is a timed event. Low silhouette, your sergeant. Awesome. Let's go. Air assault. Get over. Get over. Come on. Get over. Get over. There it is. Get over. Let's go. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up, you! 
Get up on top of that post. Stand up. You did it when you were a baby. You can do it now. Use the rope. You got it. Let go of the rope. Go. Grab that rope and get up on that post. Faster, let's go. Get after it. That's the Taliban on the other side. Come to a complete stop. Get up on that post. Stand up. Stand up, man. Let go of the rope. Move out. Stand up. Hurry up. We don't have all day. Good. Let go of the rope. No slowing down. Hurry up. Don't think about it. Just get up there. Bend your knees. Jump. Get off my opposite. Hurry up, you. Let's go. Come on, warrior. Come on, man. You Let's got go. This. Come on. Catch him. Let's go. That's go. There you go. Too easy, too easy. Get off. All right. Get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. You're about to get passed off. You're about to get passed off, Warriors. Let's go. Get up there. Get it done. There you go. Hurry up. Kick your legs. Kick your legs up and over. Too easy. Just get them. Move. Don't Let's forget go. your freaking glasses. Get your glasses go. or whatever you need. Hey, you blind it. guy. Okay, go. Hey, hurry up. Too easy. Go catch him. Don't be him. Don't be. Let's go. Too easy. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Up and over. Too easy. Come on, Sar. You don't have time to catch your breath. Let's go. Big jump. Big jump. Bend your knees and jump. There you go. There you go. Keep your legs straight. Don't kick the sides. Don't touch the sides. Hurry up. Come on. Just rotate over. Too easy. Your body's just going to rotate. There you go, use gravity, gravity. There we go, perfect. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why are you so long? Because I'm vertically challenged, you're a sergeant. I'm vertically challenged. I'm too short. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. You better catch him, you better catch him. I bet you can't catch him, I bet you can't catch him. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Too easy, let's go. You're pretty much right ass on, dude. That was way worse than that. Yeah, true. So I had to there you go. I was just the weaver or the, uh, or the. I mean, I think that's one of the great things about being in the Army Reserves and, and serving with an Army Reserve unit is that you have all these people with all different kind of backstories, all different civilian careers, civilian experiences, civilian education, things like that, and all of them bring that to their Army experience as well. So you have a guy who maybe has been in the Army for 15 years but doesn't have as much experience in the civilian sector and either work experience or, or education, and then you have somebody else who might be relatively new to the Army, like we have a couple specialists that already have a master's degree from places like Cornell, like really prestigious institutions, so it's it's, it's pretty awesome. And it's hard to balance from sometimes, you know, because it's certainly, I mean, it's like having two lives. Like they say, you're twice the soldier because you got the, or twice the citizen, excuse me, because you got, you're doing everything on the in the civilian career and then you also got your Army thing that you owe some time to, so. You know, it's very rewarding though, absolutely. Probably the most rewarding experience I've had in my life. So in my civilian career, I mean, the, the academic course load that you're gonna be taking for something like civil engineering and at a place like Stevens is gonna be pretty rigorous, but you know, uh, having to learn to manage your time like that it certainly helps in the military with everything we do is time management, especially in a, in a pace like, place like this where you have the very up pace uh, kind of training tempo and operation tempo, so, you know, things like that. Understanding how to interact with people in a, in a professional environment certainly helps if you bring that to the table as a lower enlisted where maybe some other lower enlisted might not have that same experience in the outside world and you already have that to bring to the table, that's another good thing. 
you know, just learning how to think uh, analytically and critically about things certainly helps too, and I think higher education helps you with that a lot. I made some of the best friends I've ever met in my life outside of the Army probably at, at Stevens, so it's been, a, it's been a great place, and I like, I like kind of, I always like having a goal and working towards it and achieving it, Sergeant, and I think that's uh, earning a bachelor's has been something like that too, because it's not, it's not an easy course load, you know, and in a lot of the classes, it's not something you're going to be good at right off the bat, but if you really kind of nose the grindstone, put the work in, put the man hours in, you're going to you're gonna succeed, you're going to do well because you have all the support. It's very similar to the Army, this is how I think about school. Uh, the old saying, it takes a village to raise a child, comes to mind. You know, everybody from the 325th of my battalion, if I could just do a little shout out to everybody back at Sergeant Major Swarko, 325th of my battalion, Major Osterlo, you know, everybody back there. They've all been great about getting me ready to go. The Merc as well, Sergeant Major Lambert, and everybody getting me ready to go. And you know, coming up through the TSC with Command Sergeant Major Tester as well. So everyone's been been great and super supportive with either, whether it's getting me time on the range, getting me running through sticks lanes, you know, getting me some medical experience, getting me to CLS classes, getting me combat or er, uh, excuse me, combative certified, you know, things like that. And that certainly takes a lot of man hours, a lot of time, a lot of effort. So it's it's not something that's lost on me, but but things like that also help you come to a place like this and succeed. And that's why I love competitions like this, because you know we're all about readiness in the Army Reserves. And first and foremost, obviously everybody comes here to win. You know, so I, like we all come in here because we're competitive, we're good at what we do, and we want to be able to perform at the highest stage. And that's why we're at a place like this. And you wouldn't get to a place like this without that kind of mentality. But also, I think this is things like competitions like this are a great learning experience. It's a great way to pick up skills that you might not have because. Just like I said, we're, when you're coming from the civilian sector, everybody's bringing different things to the table. I feel like it's the exact same thing when you come to a competition like this. We have guys that are in the medical field that are very good at medical stuff, and they can tell you anything you want to know about nine-line medevacs or you know combat casualty care, things like that. But maybe you get to the weapons range and they're not great at shooting the M9 or they're not great at qualling with their M16. You know, And then you have other guys that are come from the combat arms that have a background in that and are really good with their weapons, but they might not be great at medical six lands and things like that. So you kind of get this convergence of knowledge and this convergence of experience, and it's it's great to pick up what you can from that and kind of learn from everybody that's around you and have this great team environment where it's everybody against the competition, it feels like, not everybody against one another. Series so Adapt and Overcome, I think that's something that applies to all facets of your life, you know, whether it's a military or civilian career and certainly uh, facing down adversity and, and conquering it, you know, and, and coming out on top. There is, I think before I joined the military, I was certainly a lot my mental toughness might not have been what it is now, you know, certainly with, with guys like the all the great drill sergeants you see out here and everything, you know, really helping to motivate you and everything, but it also works a lot with your mental toughness and kind of being able to look at something that you might think, man, that's really tough, like this ruck march that we did this morning, you know, man, that was going to be really tough with, with all of our kid on and everything like that, and being able to be like, you know what, like, my battle buddy's got this, I got this, and just going at it. And